Hello everyone, hello everyone, welcome to another episode. Today I'll be reviewing the Dreamstar Toys High Dive. It's basically just the combiner we got like two weeks ago, the hand, and we have now this guy. So yeah, let's begin the review. Okay, we have High Dive. Cool, let's just open the box. Okay, wait, the back of the box shows all the figure stuff. So yeah, the combiner mode looks like it's a leg, or not not even the foot, the foot is another figure. So yeah, this is the second part to this uh, combiner, so that's cool. Before like, I don't know how many weeks ago, we had the other guy. Uh, I, do, I don't know where he is, he's in probably in a, in a cardboard box. So yeah, that's cool. So we have big plastic. As you can see, we have the the base like last time, and of course, this guy transforms into a plane. Probably all of these figures will be planes, so uh, that's nice. Oh yeah, yeah. Also, this base could connect with the other base to make a, a circle. If you like collect all of them, you can make a circle out of those bases. So here we have the figure. The feet are slippery. Okay, yeah, um, yeah, there's too much in the back. No, oh, that's fine. Not really, but, yeah. So we have a gun. Looks better than last time. Last time's gun looks very neat. This also has a magnet here. So, yeah, let's hope the batteries I bought actually fit. Let's move that out of the way. And that's done for unboxing. Now, let's talk about the figure. So, this figure looks very similar to the, 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 the guy I reviewed like before two weeks ago. I can't remember his name. Okay, it looks very similar to it. Uh, just the shoulders are different a bit here, near the chest are different. Okay, look, the paint job is similar. It gives me vibes of the old, of the one I reviewed. So, yeah, that's cool. Uh, the weapons, they look so much better. They are very nicely painted, sculpted. I wish they added some silver here, but that's fine, I guess. Not really. So this could transform into a rocket, <laughs> which is cool. You could make it like this in plain mode, but when you transform him, it's really hard to, okay, yeah. But when you transform him, you can make it into a gun. Pretty neat stuff. So uh, let's talk about head sculpt wise. Focus, yeah, no, no, yes. So the head sculpt, uh, looks like the Transformers uh, Bumblebee movie figures. I mean, not figures, like the characters. Like the head sculpt on this one looks very nice. It looks like it's from Generation 1. And from. I'm, I was going to say the games, but no, it doesn't really look like that. So yeah, that's nice. We go down to the chest. It's bland. There's nothing there. Maybe this thing here, but. Is that a screw hole? Oh, there's a screw hole inside here. Wait, why is there a screw hole in here, not in here? This could, this could move, yes. Both of them look like they can move. Why, why is this exposed? And why is this the only part that's sculpted? And, okay. Eh, first issue. <laughs> so we have here, there's nothing really. There's like some mechanical parts. It looks very neat. The paint is also really good. So that's nice. The hands. Here is just gray. This, the joint is mismatched with this. It doesn't look matched, which is, ah, I don't really like that. I wish, like the joints would also be much more covered. I don't really like this. Uh, the shoulder piece is, it looks nice. I like the shoulder piece. The shoulder piece is really good. I like it. Uh, the hands are, of course, or the fingers are movable. Just, uh, I think they're, Wait, can they move or no? Oh, they're a bit too stiff. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they're, nah, yeah, they're a bit too stiff. Eh, that's fine. That's fine. I'm not even going to use the fingers. Maybe, maybe. I don't know. But I'll probably keep this guy in combiner mode. So, yeah. That's cool. Uh, he looks also like a cone head. Very nice. Uh, the wings? Hmm. What can I say? This is a huge backpack. I don't like it. At, at least like the the first one, it looked much more better. It, like 
And this is just like a cut off cockpit. It, it doesn't look good. Yeah, they really fell off on this one. Uh, just, it doesn't even fit the legs. The, the legs are much more skinnier than the back. Oh, uh, I really don't like that. So yeah, critiques. Now we come down to the legs. The legs, they look really good, it's just short foot. No wonder why he falls. It's because of his back and also how short his foot is. Ah, really annoying. And there's a heel in here? There's a, there looks like there's a heel. So yeah, let me just get that out. Maybe, maybe that will help the leg issue. And it's really hard to do. Okay, so, so um, um, this is now locked in place. When it's locked in place, it, there's barely any movement, unless you just disconnect it. And um, this is because transformation. That's why it gets disconnected, like right now. <laughs> Ooh, yay! Okay, so yeah, that's basically it for the front of the feet, and that's basically it for the figure. So now. Uh, let's begin transforming him, really, there's, well, I won't transform him on camera because that will take a long time, and I might destroy the figure. So, three, two, one, zero. So, here we have uh, him in his play mode, very cool, very nice, the paint job is amazing, it fits the figure that came before this, like, seriously, the paint job looks really nice, I like how there's one turbine in the back. This is really cool. We have rockets everywhere for rockets, but if we add this, it'll be six. <laughs> That's a lot of rockets. Cockpit opens, which is nice. There's obviously no detail in there, but if there were, but if there was, it's always pretty neat. This took me a really long time to transform. Um, yeah, but if I do it again, it would be much easier. But let's just. First thing, let's talk about this. So here on the side, we have a lot more detail than here. I don't know what uh, what plane this is based on, but I just, why? Why is there also a screw hole here? This doesn't have a screw hole, or is it because it's a joint and you have to tighten it, and sometimes it gets loose? I don't know, but why isn't that there? Why isn't it, why isn't that on the other side? That's just a bit too confusing for me so yeah it's very streamlined it looks very nice although there are some parts of the robot mode still showing but this is a combiner so it has like three forms which is nice very cool the wings very nice so yeah also he's uh, he goes a little bit sideways because the wheels they don't connect together they just you know you just try your best to put them next to each other so yeah and the wing is really easy to mess with it's just yeah uh, i don't like that so yeah that's why it's like a bit sideways because of the wheels and the center of gravity is really hard to get and uh, really hard to fit so yeah that's nice now uh, let's begin now let's talk about the weapons so let me just turn this around so what you do is just turn this around so it's going to reveal the rocket, or you could just keep it as the weapon if you want to. It just depends on what you like. But then you could just pull this, boom, that's cool. And now you could just put it here. Wait, no, you can't see it. We'll have to now mess with the wing, I guess. And camera... Mm. Okay, fine, I fixed that. Cool, <laughs> that's nice. So then what you do is just fit this here fit this right here right here into there so what you do is just do it like that oh uh, what the hell man okay so yeah that's maybe it maybe you have to push it a little bit inward or maybe it's this too big too big and that's for that um yeah there is no other place other than this yeah, that's weird. Why can't it fit? Nobody knows. So yeah, that's enough for complaints. Uh, let's say some good things about this. Um, it looks pretty standard. 
the 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 kibble for the robot mode isn't much just when you turn around you can see it the transformation is a little bit complicated you need to have it close and you don't want to break this because this i think is it fragile it's very hard plastic i have to say mm, yeah it's pretty hard transforming it just just that really hard so that yeah that's cool another spin cool also the base Mm, do I show that? Yeah, sure, why not? Nice. Oh, yeah, 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 these, these. I forgot to tell you about this. It has a magnet. And this also helps for the uh, light up features on the head and on the base. For some reason. Oh my god. This is really hard to get out. Yeah. So yeah, as you can see here, if you just put it here, you get light. I did not put any batteries in it. And it's also glued, not really, but just really hard to get off. So what you need to do is just take this off and then just also take it off of the base, which is also hard to do. Then unscrew it from here, put the batteries. I don't know what type of batteries they are. Put it back, it makes blue light so yeah and the head sculpt i don't know how to put light on at that and there ah screw the light now let's got that let's get that so we have these two uh you have mo you have two of these this is i think for maybe robot mode and the other one's probably for vehicle mode, or is it the opposite? Oh yeah, yeah, this is for vehicle mode, the one I just showed you. Also, I forgot to show you this uh, when I reviewed the first one. You could move these, uh, I think, I think I forgot to tell you this. So yeah, you could move this, boom, you have a connected table. It could be a full circle when you collect everything, which is epic. So yeah, that's basically it for robot mode. Let's combine him. When I meant combine, transform into transform into combine mode. So we have transformed him into combiner mode. This is the next day. I had to go somewhere yesterday. So yes, I am done transforming him into combine mode. So he is the leg. The feet is a separate robot. I mean transformer. So yeah, that's nice. Transformation is easy yeah it was easy surprisingly really easy but uh i had uh, oh wait where is it where's that piece uh this piece where, oh, let me find it it's like a to be careful with it this piece when this this right here this piece when you try to remove it don't pull up because that will break it and if you do just use some model kit glue i did not break it but if you do, use some molecule glue, because that's the best type of glue that works on these things. So yeah, the back is very good. It's very well sculpted. Everything fits. The cockpit, I don't think it looks good, like tangling here. But the front is amazing. That is piece de resistance. Really good. Uh, the guns... Um, I don't know if there's any place, but if you want to, there is here, the here, or here. I think here would fit. Weird, I do not know, okay? I do not know where to put this. Here, you can't put it anywhere because, well, yeah, it's going to be like this, which is not good. So yeah, that's basically it for the episode, and that's basically it for the Transformer. He's really nice. Uh, I'm not going to combine all the figures together because they'll be in boxes because I'm moving. So, yeah, that's cool. So, thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to, like and subscribe. Thank you so much.